Ka-ching. What's up, guys? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So, um, in this one, I'm gonna do a quick uh, review of some of my trades. Um, but before we actually get into the trade, guys, I want to apologize. Um, the past week, I haven't been able to like post consistently um, some of my trades because um, I do trade in the morning and I try to trade a little bit in the afternoon. But uh, most recently, it's been the weather has been so nice um, here in Minnesota. And um, when I trade in the morning, afternoon, I take my kids outside. Uh, we go places and I end up not getting the time to do that trade review. So uh, what I'm going to try to do is uh, trade in the morning, record the video um, of the trades that I do. Even if it's just one or two trades, I'm going to record that video um, and then post that. Even if I do some other trades in the afternoon, I'm not going to have to post those. So um, but just so I'm consistent with that. So I do apologize. So, but I wanted to do the uh, post this one for the trades that I did um, on this uh, Thursday. So again, we traded WHLM. We traded INO, um, EBTE, and ANY. Uh, as you can see, um, I made some profit and uh, give back some with uh, ANY. So. I'm um, just going to take a quick look at um, the trades that I did, and I'll give you guys uh, my reasoning behind it. So let's jump right in here. And so the first one that I did, um, I think the first trade I did was INO. Um, and it had this one on our watch list. If you are watching and you're not part of our, um, our Discord server, links in the description, definitely go check that. Come join uh, where you can get that watch list every uh, single day when we trade. So. Uh, again, this one came out of the gate. There was news about um, INO because of their vaccine uh, testing. And, P, uh, you know, there's news that the vaccine was pretty good. Um, it passed or it, it worked as as expected. The efficacy was good. And so I knew this was going to pop out of the gate. So I had it on the watch list. But um, coming out of the gate, it was kind of flat. And I, I felt a little bit disappointed because I, I thought this thing would just come out, maybe pull back a little bit and then squeeze um, and just go up. So pre-market um, high was about 1082. So I, in my humble opinion, looking at it, I was hoping that we can at least get to that 1082 um, or even test 11. That was my anticipation for the day. Uh, but... I mean, that's the market. I mean, it's really choppy uh, and very difficult to trade, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. So came out of the gate. I'm watching this one um, pull back. I'm like, oh, this is going to just flush. Then it's going to squeeze by. It crosses VWAP right here. And um, and I'm looking like, hey, I, I'm looking at the trade. I didn't want to get in here because this is the first one I'm in Canada to make a new high. I didn't want to get in here because look at uh, my, uh, my uh, stochastic. So right here, if I had gotten in, it's already um, showing me a downward trend. So if you look at this candle right here, this doji right here compared straight down to my storage um, indicator, it doesn't match. So right here, showing me there's a downward trend already. So I didn't want to get into the trade right there. I like it when it's crossing. So I held myself back. I didn't want to force the trade. It came back and then... Right here, this is what you call kind of like a, a force breakout. So crosses act like it was going to pop and then, then kind of fell back again. And I'm like, okay, you try getting me there. You're not going to get me. So I gave it time to develop. So now again, it crosses VWAP um, held for a little bit. And I'm, st I'm still waiting. I really want a good confirmation on this one. And then right here, this is where I got in. So it crosses VWAP holds. And then right here, pull back a little bit, then crosses VWAP again. But if you see right here, look at where it's crossing. K is crossing on the upside. So that tells me this thing is going to pop. So that's where um, somewhere around here, around 10 bucks. This is where I got into the trade. So I took the trade right here and then see what happens. Volume comes in and the thing squeeze all the way up to about uh, a, a 10.25. But I still held the trade. It got up to 10, around what's it, right? 10 30. And I'm still holding the trade. And then it got up here to about 10 uh, 34, 35. And then I see volume start to decrease. And then I sold at 10 32. I got it around 10 32. So that's why I got out of this trade. And then um, 
a pullback again here and then kind of squeeze up all the way to 1037. I didn't want to have to sit in the trade because this right here, uh, when I got when I got out, it could have flushed back, but I didn't want to take that chance. Um, so I just took some profit there and walk away. So and then it, it tried again, flushed and never looked back. So you can see the rest of the day, it just went down and down and down and down. So um, I'm happy that I was able to take the trade when I did, because otherwise I never would have had any opportunity to take the trade. Um, guys, I again, I am so uh, uh, fixed on my strategy. I don't like trading below the VWAP. So if for those of you guys that are uh, thinking like, hey, you want to buy the dip and then uh, ride it up, that's cool. There's there's other people that trade like that. Um, you can watch the videos and, and learn that strategy. I don't trade below the VWAP. I trade with momentum. I trade when there's an opportunity for me to at least make some make some profit. So that's my strategy. So that's the first trade that I did. Um, second trade was um, this WHLM. And so this one uh, got on my my scanner. Because if you can see a pre-market, it was pretty much nothing. So it, it didn't appear on the, on the gap scanner. And then um, market opened um, to me around 10 o'clock my time. I saw it started gapping. I was like, whoa, what's going on here? So you can see here, this thing went from like $8 and squeezed to a high of about $12. I'm like, shoot. So the first time I saw it, it was, I think it was right here at about $10 and some change where it was halted. And then came out of the halt, squeezed all the way to 11 and some change. And I'm like, I'm not going to chase. And then it got up to, uh, I think, 12.87 and then flush so i still like held my ground i i don't want to chase some of the stocks so i just kept watching it um it came on the new v wipe here tested v wipe again um that didn't hold so uh break back came down on the v wipe and then right here this is where i said watching um it, it kind of crosses v wipe again right here and i see volume coming in so um, I think, let's see, this one I got in at about 12 or in some change. I got to look at the exact uh, number, but I got in a, a little bit over 12 right here. And then um, a little bit of volume came in, right? This is, I, I almost got out of the trade right here. I thought this thing was going to fail because if you see right here, my indicators are telling me that this thing is going to cross at some point. But huge volume came in just at the tip right here we can see this this volume candle right here um that's massive volume o over um six hundred and fifty thousand uh um shares came in at that particular point so i st i stayed in the trade it squeezed up a little bit and i got out about 13 and some change i didn't write it all the way to 14 um so i got around 13 and then when i got out just to watch it go all the way to 14 before pulling back it's like okay um, I might have missed on that one, but see, right after that, it flushes. So I, even though I complained, I didn't, I didn't write it all the way to 14. Um, but I'm still happy that I got out early because look at that. After that, it just flushes, um, and then never give me any opportunity to trade again uh, from there and pull back. But I think um, it came back again, cross VWAP later in the day, but still no trading opportunity. If you can see right here. It crosses VWAP, but very, very choppy. And I didn't want to take the chance here and give back another profit that I made already. And then it just kind of flushed down. And that was it for that particular trade. And then the other trade that I did that was profitable uh, was this uh, EB, um, ET. And so this one came out. Um, I traded this one after hours for a quick profit. So um, after hours, and I really, I really got to this one a little bit late, which really annoys me because if i had gotten into this one early um i probably would have made some good money so i got this into this one late so um this one i was looking here um i think this is i said looking here it got to this tip right here 46 dollars and some change and then pull back so i'm looking at my indicators right here look at that cross right there so i'm like this is a good spot so i look at my cross um, I got in somewhere around 43.20 or 43.21 and then squeeze up right here. I almost got out of the trade, but I had my stop loss at 40, uh, at uh, $50. So I had my stop loss, uh, my take profit or, or my sell order, sorry, 
because um, it's after hours. So it's on a sell order. So I have my sell order at 50. So it crosses right here. I'm like, oh, I'm going to bring my sell order down and get out of this trade because it looks like it's going to flush. But nope, it bounces right back and squeezed all the way up here. And I kept, I stayed in the trade. Um, finally, I got out about $48 and some change right here. I didn't get all the way to 49, but I got out about $48. Um, and that's where um, I stopped trading a particular stock. But then I left, went out again, uh, took my kids out and came back. Um, noticed that it, it went underneath V web squeeze and then made some other moves. But I didn't really care uh, at that particular point. So those are the three stocks that I traded that were profitable for me. Um, and then the, the other stock that I, I took that was um, A N Y. I took that one and lost some money in, the, in the, on that particular trade. A lot of you guys are always asking, like, uh, when when is a good time to get in, guys? Um, this thing is you as you trade more, you're gonna see that no two stocks are the same. Um, yes, you follow your strategy. Um, there's certain things that you have to take into account. Yes, you want volume. Yes, you want to see your indicators align the way you want them to align. So all those things, you have to put them um, into perspective. But me personally, I don't like trading below the VWAP. So I like trading an upward trend. So like right here, if I was looking at this stock somewhere around here, that would have been somewhere you start looking at getting into the stock, even though there wasn't that much of a spike in volume, but at least you're trading the upward trend. You're not trading down here. When you buy below the VWAP, in my personal opinion, um, you don't know what the bottom is at that point. So let's, let's just take a step back here and just take a look at say right here. So if you're sitting in this stock, let's say you look at it, 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 it goes below VWAP and then you buy somewhere around here. And then it starts to curl up. You think like, oh, this is probably going to curl up. Then you see it, it flushes down. So if you have a stop loss, it would probably kick you out somewhere here. And so I don't want you to buy and sit there and hope that it would go up. I want you to buy when it's trending up. Um, again, is it is it going to trend up continuously all the time? No, it could trend up and then pull back. But at least at that point, you are going in with a strategy that you know that this is trending up based on the indicators that you have. The market reacts in so many different ways. It could be trending up and then some crazy news comes out about that stock and then you watch it crumble. So you have to be aware of all those different things when you're trading um, a stock like this. So that's what I wanted you guys to be aware of. And so um, before you go into a trade, make sure that you have your exit, um, your, your entry and your exit in mind. In, in most cases, if you don't have them uh, as a bracket order, if you're doing like using hot keys, um, you have to be quick to react. So as you go in, if the trade is not going in your direction, you can easily get out. Um, in most cases, guys, um, you can go in a trade. And if you feel confident, you can do a bracket order and give yourself some leeway. So let's say you, you get in a trade um, right here and you can say, okay, I'm going to put my stop loss at, say, 36, like down here. And then my take profit would be somewhere up here. So you give yourself that room to move stuff around. But again, you have to, once you put your stop loss, you have to stick with it. Even if it comes and kicks you out, you have to follow that trade through and not just um, move it around and keep giving yourself a, an opportunity to lose money. So that's why I wanted to make sure that you guys understand. So there you go, guys. Those are some of the trades that I did. Uh, again, um, it was a very choppy day. The market this week has been um, insanely choppy. So once you're trading, make sure you're trading with caution. Don't get into a trade if you don't have to. So wait and give yourself a better opportunity to uh, trade and make some money. So again, um, let me know in the comment section if you do have um, any questions. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.